Wasn't too bad. Nice relaxing morning. Yeah. It's a little noisy though. I think because Spaniards tend to stay up late. So it was already well past 11 and people were just starting cooking and yeah, exactly. talking and laughing. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. We just gotta get used to it. But um, having earplugs helped a lot. Uh, I did slip right through it. That's because you always sleep good. Today is going to be an open road day. The only thing we really have planned is a uh, beautiful stretch of road that was recommended by a uh, motorcycle site for being some of the best riding in the south. So we're going to look forward to that. And then, um, then we got an Airbnb. Chantil found us a sweet deal on an Airbnb. But we'll see. <laughs> I mean, the lady seems pretty nice. Yeah, we got good, good car reviews, right? I guess she has dogs and a cat, so if you like dogs and a cat, that's perfect, which we do. We, uh, we had a lot of fun with the dogs at the last place. These roads are full of big trucks. Careful. Exactly. They like, sounds like they like to drive fast. Of course, once I turn the camera on, say it's full of big trucks, no trucks come by. <laughs> the, the camera was off, and literally, we were like, it was like a whole intersection of big trucks hauling produce everywhere. Uh -huh. And now, I don't see one single truck. Single truck. Maybe that's the key. We just keep the camera running, and then we won't have any traffic. While traveling along a rural two-lane road, we came across a site that was really saddening. We were so surprised by what we saw that we circled around to try to learn more. So we're coming up on a pallet town. I don't know much about it, but I'm assuming that it's basically a home for migrant workers that work the fields. Look at this camp, man. It's like a bunch of... It's like a refugee camp. All these people live here, though. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And it's, 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 it smells as bad as you would imagine. Oh. All created from pallets and black plastic. It's so crazy. It looks like it's a hard black plastic though. Yeah, it does. So that's where they live. All of those are homes. With no windows. Ugh. Ugh. That's crazy. Imagine being trapped in the coronavirus there. Ah, uh, can you imagine? I don't know. Is there a I worse place? So yeah, is there a worse place? Wow, that's sad. We often refrain from expressing our opinion, especially in countries we do not live in, but to see the way the migrant workers were living in this camp was unsettling. These people are harvesting the food that many Europeans eat and enjoy every day. We feel that they should have better living conditions. If you would like to learn more, I've included a link to an article in the comments below. It is pretty disheartening. Our drive along the A7 quickly changed scenery. The semi-arid desert climate was transformed into a sea of greenhouses that were built upon nearly every inch of the land in the area. It's crazy how many greenhouses are out here. They're everywhere. Like if there's a if there's a little bit of land, it's filled with a greenhouse. I know it's amazing, huh? The greenhouses stretch from the mountains all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. More than 165 square miles of land is covered in white plastic. The Spaniards call it Mar de Plástico, or the Sea of Plastic. 
The world's largest concentration of greenhouses can even be seen from space. Before long, we are enjoying olive tree orchards and twisty mountain roads of the Sierra Nevadas. Riding the A4130 and the A4132 was pure motorcycle joy. Join us next episode as we explore the streets of Granada and marvel at the beauty of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Alhambra. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and consider supporting us with a contribution through Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. <laughs>